Are you wondering how to produce words correctly and clearly in English? My name is Christina and I help ambitious non-native English speakers like yourself show up to speak English confidently and clearly. In this video, I will be sharing five steps to help you improve your pronunciation quickly, as well as a free worksheet that you can download so that you can follow along. Step number one, this first step may surprise you, but it is to study your own accent. Yes, you heard me right. I want you to go to YouTube, start typing in your accent, whatever that may be, and watch some educational videos on the sounds and the speech patterns and the intonation and the rhythm, all those type of things that make up your native accent, that is what you want to learn about. And once you've collected some of that information, download your worksheet and record your thoughts on the worksheet. Step number two is to decide what accent is your goal accent. Some popular examples include American English, British English, or Australian English. For many of the private clients that I work with, their goal accent is the one that they are surrounded with by the most, typically the one that they are conducting professional work in so that they can be clearly understood by their colleagues. Step number three is completely optional, but it is to choose a speech model. Now, what the heck is a speech model? Well, simply put, a speech model is someone that you would love to sound like. So whether it's someone that you know in person or if it's a celebrity, choose someone that you really admire their voice and the way they talk. However, the goal isn't to erase yourself completely or to sound exactly like someone else. The goal is just to choose the speech model as an example so that you have something to look at when you are tracking your progress and seeing how far you've come in your pronunciation routine. Step number four is to compare your native accent with your goal accent. Now remember in step number one, when I mentioned that you were going to go to YouTube, research your accent, write down some sounds, some variations, some patterns, well, you're going to do the same thing with your goal accent. And then you're also going to watch some clips of your native accent as well as some clips of your goal accent and write down any differences that you may notice, whether it's a particular sound like or versus er, or if it's a particular word like seat versus sit. Write down anything you notice and record that in your worksheet. Now, it's totally okay if this step confuses you a little bit. This is definitely the one that takes the most work and can be a little uncomfortable and hard to get used to. But if you would like more one-to-one -one support and guidance, you can visit englishcommutecoaching.com program for more details on how I can work with you and help you achieve your pronunciation goals. Okay, and we have made it to the last step, step number five. Now that you have your own personalized list of words and sounds based on comparing your native accent with your goal accent, step number five is to practice, practice, practice. I highly encourage you to practice for at least 10 minutes a day based on the words and sounds that you have discovered on your own. To take it an extra step further, maybe each week you do more listening practice of your goal accent and your native accent to see what differences you can pick up. But please practice for at least 10 minutes a day. This is a lot better than practicing for three hours at a time once a week. And a quick bonus tip for you is to record yourself each time you practice so that you can continue to monitor your progress. I hope this was helpful for you. Remember to download your free workbook below so that you can record all your answers and start working on your pronunciation from home so that you can become a competent English speaker. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.